Tom Stice, I'm the Director of Product Creation here in Fort Worth, Texas, uh, what we affectionately call the Oven. This is a location uh, that we, we only do three things here to support our golf business. We take care of all the tour players around the world. Uh, we develop products that will become prototypes and eventually become products into the line. And then we do future research. And I'm going to take you a little walk around the building here. It's hot in Texas, so we're going we're gonna to go look into some of the rooms where we develop some of the hot products. What I'm doing is getting some uh, irons and wedges put together for uh, Trevor Immelman today. Uh, he's getting all excited about the British what, opening, so what, he's got to get uh, these clubs out today. <laughs> what we do a lot of here is, of course, the product development duties that we have. But a lot of what I do is work with our staff athletes on custom shaping and grinding uh, for their wedges and iron sets and things like that in our grinding room here. This is our machining area. Basically, we will take ideas, sketch them onto paper, then create CAD drawings, two-dimensional CAD drawings, send the data and information back to this room, and literally grind out out of big blocks of uh, wood and metal will grind out and cut out with the machining operations, golf clubs, um, that become prototypes and original uh, first articles for our production. And this is the room that we'll bring the raw forgings into, and from that we'll do the hand cutting, as Mike was talking about a few minutes ago, uh, shape the clubs so that they look exactly the way the player wants to see them in the playing position, so they can instill confidence, as well as real ball uh, striking performance. Each and every one of our uh, trim professionals has a specific look that they like to look at, the way the toes are ground, the way that the soles are, are cut off on the bottom of the face. And so we build master templates for each one of our players. Uh, TW stands for, I get, bet you could guess who. And so for each one of the clubs, a six iron, seven iron, eight iron, we have specific templates. And this ensures that every club that goes out uh, for Tiger to play uh, is exactly the same as the last one. Uh, we do that for all of our players uh, in order to keep, keep their heads uh, confident that that's uh, the club that works best for them. This is our room where we do actually welding operations. We'll weld the sole plates onto uh, the golf clubs. We'll weld the faces onto the drivers. But we're also grinding away material sometimes that we have to put back with the weld operations. So this is the area where we, uh, where we do that. Yeah. There's a little laser that guides the ball through this little pneumatic cannon that fires a golf ball into the face of the club and we can hit it nine different locations and then we know the see those two little slots in the floor those are two light uh, gates and so the ball goes through one light beam and goes to the other beam and it has a velocity we know the distance between them we know the amount of time for those two lights to be broken and so then we know the velocity in then it hits the face of the club and bounces back and breaks the same two light gates so we know the velocity exit so if we compare the velocity into the face of the club versus the velocity out, then we know how efficient the impact was. So if we had 100 miles per hour in and 100 miles per hour out, it would be a perfect, uh, perfectly elastic, uh, perfect transfer of energy. That never happens. Mm -hmm. What the USGA and the Rolling Ancient says is that, that that efficiency cannot exceed 0.83. That's where the COR, so a coefficient of 0.83 is 100 miles in, 100 miles per hour in, and 83 miles per hour out. I see. So that's how we calculate it, and then we hit it nine different locations around the face, so that if we're coming, if we got a 0.83 in the center of the face, we want you know a 0.82 or an 8.1 on the outer areas of uh, plus or minus a half inch from that center. So those are the kind of efficiencies we're trying to design to, uh, you know, to get the back maximum performance. This is uh, where we do all of our player testing. Uh, and we've got a, a ball lab here for a uh, putting roll where we can actually uh, measure the skid and the spin roll and look at the golf stroke uh, for putting. This allows us to do some really uh, dynamite custom fitting for our tour players. It's also where we learn to research data that's necessary for projects like Method Putter. Uh, a little chipping area, then an indoor to outdoor uh, hitting zone. We can do fittings here as well as uh, very extensive player testing. The business plan was first developed and Nike had a, its first golf shoe, then gloves, and then sportswear, and then into the late 90s they started, this is when Tiger came on board, uh, things started changing dramatically in this area, um, and the new Nike golf identity, 
uh, had a number of players that started winning, and this is when the Mackey Ball started coming in. Uh, around 2000, I started working with him as a consultant, and then in 2001, we, uh, uh, we, Nike acquired my team, and we became full-time with Nike, and there was five of us here. Now we got, we've grown to 45 different, 45 people working in the Fort Worth facility. And then the products, these started, started really starting to come out, uh, not only for balls, but also for clubs. And right up to today, um, where we've got literally on this wall, this is a history of all of the club products that have been developed by Nike in the last seven years uh, of club business. So we've, uh, we've introduced more products faster, better, and uh, more efficiently than any club company in the history of the game. These are the last most recent winners on tour with our products. And we've got a, a history over here of all the wins that have happened. Um, I forgot how many hundred it is, but we've had uh, quite a few. This was just the last two years, but we've got about three or four hundred wins uh, with Nike products since we started the business. And for the last three years, we've had the most wins with products uh, of any company.